Okay, folks, today I'm going to walk you through rebuilding uh, the disc feed gearbox. We're going to start with the basics. This pin goes in, there's a snap ring there, there's a woodruff key here. A lot of times, this woodruff key gets lost. And this set screw is all that makes it shift, but it crushes the shaft and then the shifter won't actually shift it properly. So it'll get out of angle and it won't work. So whenever I do it, I start off with making sure this is all put together the right way. Make sure that's pushed in. Lock that down. Shift's nice. This has to be centered on there. This goes around there. This foot is going to be captured by the two sets of gears. This gear, which a lot of people make this mistake. This gear only goes in one way. If you put it in backwards, it won't hold itself in gear. in the right way it will hold itself in gear you got to be careful when you put this in there that this foot this shifter foot or dog leg or whatever you want to call it is on that key and that foot in there right there goes in the groove of that shifted gear so it should end up This gear drops in. It's a paper washer. This shaft. This is a trap gear. There's two roll pins <coughs> captured by two washers in this gear. And they slide down this shaft and that's how this it's its name it's a trap gear putting this in you got to have everything lined up if you can see it there but there's two little pins in there <clears throat> this thing slides right in there Make sure the pins stay in place. That didn't work. A bit of grease. Get that pin to stay in there. Yep, you, <clears throat> you have to make sure the shaft goes through the correct way. This flat face goes against the back wall. So the side that doesn't have the machine flat face is the side that this goes through because this cap needs to be on this side of it. So when I go to put it together, I 
have the flat sides facing up and this goes through like that. It can be quite the pain. There we go. <clears throat> and this gets dropped in there like that. These two bolts hold the trap gear. I'm holding the gears in with my other hand. Now you can't tighten these all the way tight until you have the trap gear slid through the other half of the housing. And that's when we're gonna line it up. So we just tighten those down a couple of turns. So this still moves around. We're going to line that up and we stick it into this housing. Be careful not to drop the shaft through there. Because until you put the bolt in it, it can fall through. You can start all over again.
of this. Let's see this. I'm going to push this back through here, all the way back. And I should be able to see. The end of the shaft in there. <clears throat> There's supposed to be a spring in there, but the spring in there causes more problems than it helps with. So I ditched the spring. If you have an extended feed gearbox, you need to remove that spring and just put the trap shaft catch screw back in it so that it doesn't fall out on you. I put it in gear so that I can hold the shaft with my finger inside there to lock that down. Okay, now this needs to come out to the end of that thread so that it's clear of it. This has to do with having the maximum travel out of your machine. That's the limit that I can get out of this machine is right there, as far as this gearbox goes. If you want more travel than that, you're gonna need different feed screws and uh, make some other adjustments to your machine. So now I've got the trap shaft coupler sticking out in the bushing. Now I can tighten these down to lock the trap shaft into alignment. Okay, so that's the basic gist of assembling one of these gearboxes. It's a little more complicated normally because normally there's a couple of handfuls of grease in there complicating your life. But that's the way it's supposed to go together. You gotta make sure that the shifted gear is in the right orientation so that it works correctly and everything spins smoothly. This gearbox, I can reach in and spin that gear with my finger, no problem. When I put it in gear, I can actually feel the drive working. In one direction, it jumps out of gear, and in the other direction, it's locked. Right? That's how this setup's supposed to work. The gear will not take a reverse load. It'll skip out of gear. That's why they have the little ratchet on the side of the gear thing. Anyway, hope this helps everybody. Um, if you have any questions uh, or comments, leave them in the bottom of the video. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll do more of these videos if you guys like them. Thanks.